Hello everyone. Yes, this is the time for FMG 23. Yes, you all have done with your most of the subjects. It's the time to revise some important questions. So FMG must know MCQ in Pediatrix. Yes, must know MCQs. With my all experience, I bring some crack MCQ for you which must know MCQ for FMG. Yes, myself, Dr. Sanjay Khatri on Unacademy, your pediatric educator. Something about Unacademy, bigger saving unlocked. Yes, see this 25% off on all subscription. You need to just avail Unacademy app and use the code Dr. Sanjay K. 25% my friend. Now, presenting need PG vital in which an academy, all faculties with their best experience, put all the experience in those classes. Just join that, join that, and feel the difference. Feel the difference. Need PG vital. Now, ACE next or Need PG 24 live from 21st June on an academy store. My friend, see the prizes 6000 only. What else you want? And this is for FMG students. Last moment, last time, final frontier for FMG, July 2023. See here, 100 plus hours recorded content, crisp and concise revision of all 19 subjects. So you are confused, something is lacking, you feel, join this, join this and feel the difference. Yes, we all educator promise you to give you best to crack the FMG. So this is about an academy. Without wasting the time, come to the question. Must know MCQ. Earliest response to iron therapy in iron deficiency anemia. Bilal, good. Hello from Pakistan. Hello. Divya, good. Akshit, Padi, very good. I want answer from your side. Earliest response to iron therapy in iron deficiency anemia. A girl, boy come with iron deficiency anemia. Hemoglobin is 4. You diagnose it. So many lab criteria. Serum iron low, TIBC elevated. Diagnosis confirm it's iron deficiency anemia. You started iron. What is the earliest response? So many questions are there. So once you start iron, in 12 to 24 hours, replacement of intracellular iron enzymes catalase peroxidase mao these all are iron containing enzyme first their level comes normal which leads to subjective improvement which leads to subjective improvement means decrease irritability increase appetite yes this is the earliest response when you start iron in iron deficiency anemia patient then 36 to 48 hour erythroid hyperplasia erythroid hyperplasia then come 48 to 72 hour reticulocytosis this question was there when reticulocytosis occur when you start iron third day fourth to 38th day increase in hemoglobin and repletion of store one to three months we continue iron therapy so many questions are there here the earliest response to iron therapy in iron deficiency anemia i know most of the student if you are reading this first time you tempting to put reticulocytosis or increase hemoglobin no answer would be replacement of intracellular enzyme can you believe upsc exam this question comes four times in last seven years earliest response to iron therapy anemia and iron deficiency anemia is replacement of intracellular enzyme suppose this is not given then it is subjective improvement means increase appetite decrease irritability when parents come with a complaint bacche ko bhook nahi lagti what first we do we start iron logically it increase appetite it decrease irritability when reticulocytosis occur third day after 48 hour when hemoglobin begin to increase fourth day onward so these all are mcqs and this is must know mcq yes dr suman 
आंसर इज ए आंसर इज ए दिस इज रिस्पॉन्स टू आयरन थेरेपी आफ्टर आयरन एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन आंसर दिस आंसर दिस पॉन्ड्रल इंडेक्स वेट इन ग्राम अपॉन हाइट इन सेंटीमीटर क्यूब इन टू हंड्रेड वेट इन ग्राम अपॉन हाइट इन सेंटीमीटर क्यूब इन टू हंड्रेड इज पॉन्डल इंडेक्स यस वी कैलकुलेट द वेट ऑफ द चाइल्ड सपोज टू के जी टू पॉइंट फाइव के जी वी पुट इट इन ग्राम देन हाइट कैलकुलेट द हाइट ऑफ ए नियोनेट मल्टी क्यूब इट वेट इन ग्राम अपॉन हाइट इन क्यू सेंटीमीटर क्यूब इन टू हंड्रेड वॉट इज इज इम्प्लीकेशन इफ पॉन्डल इंडेक्स इज लेस देन टू इट इज इंडिकेट ए सिमेट्रिकल एस जी ए इफ पॉन्डल इंडेक्स कम टू और मोर देन टू इट इंडिकेट सिमेट्रिकल एस जी ए सो यस पॉन्ड्रल इंडेक्स must know mcq what is the formula when you are going in exam na you know formula something is weight and height but you will forget it's cube or weight in kilogram no weight in gram weight in gram by cube of height in centimeter into 100 into 100 what is the implication of pondal index to identify this sga is asymmetrical or symmetrical asymmetrical or symmetrical so yes response to iron therapy earliest change in body pondral index these are few must know mcqs move on answer this how can you imagine a exam without breast milk question on breast milk following are not correct human breast milk and cow breast milk contain equal percent of water yes both contain 88% of water human breast milk contain more carbohydrate compared to cow's milk yes breast milk carbohydrate is 6.5 to 7 cow's milk carbohydrate is 4 gram human milk contain more carbohydrate human breast milk and cow breast milk contain equal amount of fat this is also true but human breast milk contain more poly unsaturated fatty acid cow's milk contain saturated fatty acid poly unsaturated fatty acid is good for brain growth so a b and c correct water 88% cow's milk contain less carbohydrate human milk contain more carbohydrate fat is equal in both but human milk contain more unsaturated poly as fatty acid breast milk contain more protein as compared to cow milk yes no breast milk protein 0.9 to 1.1 gram percent as compared to cow's milk which contain 3 to 3.3 gram protein clear 100 ml of milk cow milk contain more protein yes but it is poor quality protein although breast milk contain less protein but it's a good quality protein easily absorbable easily digestible see this see this calorie 70 67 okay water 88% 88% this is the very common question day to day in our opd practice mother comes four month old baby baby is on breastfeed hot may june month in north india mother always asks doctor can we give few spoons of water no breast milk contains sufficient water if you give water breast milk intake will be decreased it will not good for good weight gain so only breast milk protein 0.9 to 1.1 in breast milk cow's milk contain 3.3 to 3.5 but breast milk protein is of good quality when we called it's a good quality protein when whey casein ratio is 
more 70 is to 30 this protein is easily digestible easily absorbable put less load over kidney cow milk y case in ratio 20 is to 80 so not easily absorbable and digestible fat equal in both but breast milk contain polyunsaturated fatty acid saturated fatty acid more in cow's milk as i told you polyunsaturated fatty acid is good for brain growth that's why breast milk is the best gift a mother can give to the baby so many advantage carbohydrate more in breast milk so always remember carbohydrate more in breast milk okay calorie equal water equal fat equal but protein is less in breast milk but it is good quality protein few more mcqs we make all effort baby should take mother's milk it's a normal delivery mother discharge within 24 hours baby developed jaundice in nursery mother went home baby in nursery distance from home to nursery is 10 kilometer she can't come every time to feed the baby so we advise them express your milk in a container and send once or twice to the nursery nursery if you visited na in refrigerator so many containers are there baby of geeta baby of salma baby of julie like that they put the name yes room temperature breast milk can be stored up to six hour in refrigerator 24 hour in deep freeze three month these all are mcqs when mother feed the baby the milk secreted in first half is four milk later half is hind milk four milk rich in protein it satisfies thrust of the baby hind milk rich in fat it satisfies hunger of the baby hunger of the baby it satisfies hunger of the baby so all are true four milk contain more fat this is wrong you are going for exam these questions must know questions okay which we forget sometime in between for milk hind milk ebm percentage in breast milk cow's milk comparison so these question you should remember yes marker for neural tube defect i want answer from your side which marker if we check in the blood or amniotic fluid if this is elevated yes high chance mother is baby is having neural tube defect yes 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 i am getting the correct answer it is acetyl colon esterase acetyl colon esterase it's a marker of neural tube defect last to last year fmg mother take which drug during pregnancy which leads to neural tube defect in baby answer mother take which drug which leads to neural tube defect in the baby anybody jaira mithu anisha nartu humble very good yes if mother is taking sodium well provide it leads to neural tube defect in the no no dr suman if mother take erythromycin during pregnancy erythromycin during pregnancy it leads to pyloric stenosis in baby but if mother takes sodium valproate it leads to neural tube defect in the baby so these all are mcqs now one more which drug you give to prevent neural tube defect which drug yes it is folic acid now mcq when you start folic acid when you start four milligram when first baby born with neural tube defect when couple is planning second baby you tell mother they should start taking folic acid mother should start taking folic acid one month prior to conception and continue it for three months of pregnancy because if mother take folic acid when she is pregnant neural tube defect already is take place okay so mother should start taking folic acid one month prior to 
conception these all are mcqs these all are mcqs above yes prior okay answer this evergreen question for neat pg or fmg evergreen i want answer from your side let's make it interactive impairment of vision no idea shared spot no idea there are so many diseases no hepatosplenomegaly means we are dealing with some storage disease but which having no hepatosplenomegaly only one answer my friend that is tsx disease second classical point about tsx exaggerated startle response exaggerated startle response if you do like that okay this is the normal response but when the noise baby do frequently like this with slight noise exaggerated startle response exaggerated startle response no hepatosplenomegaly it is tsx disease it is due to deficiency of hexa amino days a it is due to deficiency of hexa amino days a wonderful yeah wonderful you all are interacting very well now actually the question was this i want to teach you about the antenatal screening of down syndrome so what are the marker used in the antenatal screening of down syndrome what are the marker there are biochemical marker and by usg so what are the biochemical marker if you ask me antenatal screening marker in down syndrome last 5 year three time questions is there so there are biochemical marker during first trimester you heard about double marker test yes we do p a p p a pregnancy associated placental protein a pregnancy associated placental protein a decrease beta hcg increase these two marker used antenatal diagnosis of down syndrome during first trimester double marker test second trimester alpha fetoprotein estriol hcg alpha fetoprotein decrease estriol decrease hcg increase this is known as triple test now the question come what marker we add in this to make it quadruple test we add inhibin a last year they asked all are the marker of antenatal screening of down syndrome except d choice what inhibin b it's not inhibin b it's inhibin a so remember remember these are the biochemical marker to diagnose down syndrome ratna padega dost you need to remember all these thing you need to remember answer this very good question on vaccination which one of the following statement is correct about intradermal fractional inactivated polio vaccine yes fractionated polio vaccine is one fifth of the im dose of ipv ipv is 0.5 ml given im fractionated is one fifth 0.1 ml but given intradermally intradermally so you may think where is the need of fractionated polio is national schedule we have opv only in national immunization schedule we have birth 6 week 10th week 14th week opv 0 opv 1 opv 2 opv 3 clear but iap schedule have injectable polio then people think national body think that national schedule also we introduce ipv so they introduced two doses of ipv but in form of fractionated ipv first dose given at 6 week 
second dose given at 14 v another mcq fraction rated ipv as per national schedule given at 0 and 6 week 6 and 10 week 10 and 14 week 6 and 14 week your answer would be 6 and 14 week fractionated ipv so these questions you need to remember these are the points you need to remember about vaccination answer i want answer from your side so this is the freezer this is the door generally no vaccine we should kept in the door this is freezer this is first rack second rack and third rack basic just basic door no vaccine freezer you put opv first rack you put bcg mmr and measles third rack you put all the diluent just basic we will go in the depth second rank all the vaccine in which t letter will come whether dpt tt hepatitis you all put in second rack so be it practical and remember with more vaccines like this follow this picture door no vaccine should be there no vaccine should be kept in that door opv oil in the freezer with ice cube top you can put bcg measles or you can say mmr bottom is for diluent rest all vaccine in which t letter come it's a typhoid dpt tt hepatitis all are in second rank something more something more yes place measles you remember no problem mmr bcg that everybody remember now yellow fever japanese encephalitis meningococcal vaccine also top shelf y j m yellow fever japanese encephalitis meningococcal also in top shelf so i told you na just remember bcg mmr measles one more m that is meningococcal then yj yellow fever and japanese encephalitis all vaccine in which t word come dpt dt dt pt hepatitis dpt hepatitis Hib used as a pentavalent vaccine. Again, T, rotavirus vaccine. These all in the second shelf, middle shelf. And basis for diluent. So, this is the simplest question, my friend. You are going for exam. Must know MCQ. Cold chain. So, our top rank will contain BCG, MMR, measles. No, no, never, never DPT never dpt never dpt so abc is already ruled out we have answer with d only answer this examiner want to know what is the sequence teeth always one question from dental age always one question from dental age It will take one minute. All the question will be there. Answer. See. Lower central incisor. Central incisor. Six to eight month. Then come lateral incisor. Eight to ten month. Then come molar one. Ten to sixteen month. Then come canine, 
16 to 20 month then comes molar 2 20 to 30 months what is the sequence first central incisor then lateral incisor then molar 1 then canine and then molar 2 when central incisor comes 6 to 8 month when lateral incisor 8 to 10 month when molar 10 to 16 month when canine 16 to 20 month when molar 2 20 to 30 months clear clear now this is central incisor this is also central incisor this is also central incisor this is also central incisor so one two three present four teeth central incisor four lateral incisor four plus four eight when molar comes total teeth will 12 when canine come total teeth will be 16 when molar two come total teeth will be 20 so all primary 20 teeth erupt by the age of 20 to 30 months 30 month means two and a half years which is the first teeth to erupt lower central incisor when all primary teeth erupt by two and a half year of age and what is the sequence what is the sequence central incisor first six to eight month then lateral incisor eight to ten month then first molar 10 to 16 month then canine 16 to 20 months answer is d yes 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 these are the simple thing and we are here in must know mcq no lack of concentration no looseness just concentrate and acquire the concepts dental age first teeth to erupt two times this question was there lower central incisor what is the sequence when the all primary teeth erupt this is for you answer this little bit tough but you can answer yes you can answer this question i'm waiting for your response it's a tried off Tie, tie, thrombocytopenia, infection, eczema. Yes, it is Vishcott Eldridge syndrome. Vitage, X link, recessive means only boys are affected. So it's a tried off. So eczema is there, infection is there. And platelet count low is there. It is Viscot Eldre syndrome and it's present in a male, six month old male. And one more point Viscot Eldre syndrome will have tiny platelets, tiny platelets, peripheral smear revealed, micro thrombocytes, tiny platelets. What is this? Vishcott Eldre syndrome. This is Vishcott Eldre syndrome. Classical history. Very good, Jara. Increase IgG. You want to know about immunoglobins? So immunoglobins are IgG, IgM, IgA, and IgE. Eczema. Allergy. So A and E is increased. No question. G will be normal. Which decrease? M. Reverse is Vishcott Eldridge. Reverse. W reverse is M. When we reverse W, it's M. So IgM is decrease. IgM is decrease. M is decrease. IgG is normal. A and E is increase. This is Wishcott Eldre syndrome. Few more question. If you find a patient with low platelets and absent radius, what is this? Tar syndrome. If you find a patient with low platelet and eczema, 
this is Wishcott Elder syndrome. If you find a patient with low platelet and hemangioma, my friend, this is Kassebeck Merritt syndrome. Maybe hindrance your vision. Kassebeck Merritt syndrome, KMS. Kassebeck Merritt syndrome. Probably you are able to see. Let's see. Kassebeck Merritt syndrome. No, no, no. You are not able to see. So I write here. Kassebeck Merritt syndrome. Clear? Now, what is Merasmus? What is Koshyakot? Either we do MCQ or read them in a single go. Merasmus, weight is less than 60% of expected. Suppose one year weight is 10 kg. At one year weight is 5.5 kg. Less than 60%, we call it Merasmus. Second, midarm circumference less than 11.5. Two points clear. Severe vasting, child appear thin. Body is made up of bone and skin only. No fat is there. Body is made up of bone. Old little man appearance, wrinkled skin. So these four points give you a real image. How marasmic kid look like? African boys, we watch in the TV or beggars on railway station and bus stand sometime give you a clear picture of marasmic. This four point give us a picture, but fifth and sixth help us in solving the MCQ. Marasmic, marasmic child is always irritable, not dull. Marasmic child having voracious appetite. Oh, oh, oh voracious appetite then why child become marasmic child get no food to eat that's why child is marasmic voracious appetite not anorexia so we read the text now now 10 question will be there all are the feature of marasmus except d choice will be anorexia no all are the feature of marasmus except d choice will be dull child no so, irritability and voracious appetite is a feature of marasmic kid, marasmic kid, marasmic child. Kwasha code. Essential feature and non-essential feature. Without essential feature, we can't make the diagnosis of Kwasha core. Without essential feature, we can't make the diagnosis of Kwasha core. So, what are the essential feature? Growth retardation. Weight is between 60 to 80 percent of expected. Suppose one year normal weight is 10 kg. If one year weight is between 6 to 8 kg, we call it kwasha core. Hold it, hold it. We can only call it kwasha core if child is having mental changes. When child is dull, apathic child and having edema over body. Edema. So, without edema, you can't make the diagnosis of kwasha core. Child weight is less, but if child is dull and edema over body, then only you call it kwasha core. These are essential features. Without them, you can't make the diagnosis of kwasha core. What are the non-essential features? See the hair of the child. You find alternate band of pigmented and depigmented jaw, known as flag sign. You watch the skin. You find hyperkeratotic patches that is known as flaky paint dermatosis. You can't find in every child of Pasha core. May be or may not be. So that's why they call it non-essential features. Non-essential features. Others, hepatomegaly. Yes, it is a feature of Pasha core. Fatty liver, anorexia. Chilosis. You find this question two times. All are the feature of marasmus except hepatomegaly. Is not a feature of marasmus. Remember, hepatomegaly is not a feature of marasmus. 
anorexia is not a feature of marasmus and dull child is not a feature of marasmus your exam previous full of marasmus and koshakur questions that's why we include this in must know topics must know mcq marasmus koshakur breast milk down syndrome markers these are the must know mcqs for your exam hold on some more are there now you can answer this kwasha cure is diagnosed in a growth retarded children along with what else you know well what else you know in kwasha cure edema and mental changes yes vihari a is right answer this question i will wait for your answer for 30 second try to answer this question very good very good very good all are giving the right answer hold on we will finish this concept bilateral cataract microphthalmia iugr baby hemorrhagic skin lesion scattered throughout the body what is the name of these lesion these lesions are blue berry muffin lesion it indicate intradermal erythropoiesis erin intradermal erythropoiesis blueberry muffin lesions and harsh systolic murmur heard over left sternal border murmur is there cataract is there blueberry muffin lesions are there this is congenital rubella syndrome so what is the triad of rubella deafness cataract and chd and chd chd clear na so you should remember full questions triad of rubella deafness cataract chd triad of toxoplasmosis triad of toxoplasmosis chorioretinitis diffuse cerebral calcification hydrocephalus remember these are the questions ask in the exam from ages and you can't make it wrong triad of rubella triad of toxo classical question on cmv or congenital varicella syndrome cmv have periventricular calcification and congenital varicella varicella syndrome have limb hypoplasia cerebellar hypoplasia i will discuss the question on this but these are the common you can't escape the torch must know mcqs few more thing because you people know all these things you want some advance yes if mother is having parvovirus infection during pregnancy baby will have non immune hydrops fetalis are very good vihari very good rubella have highest chance of transmission during first trimester good good you people all know everything but just to summarize and revise mother is having hiv if baby develop hiv severe thrush failure to thrive calcification of basal ganglia now the more interest mle question it may come in your exam fmg is not less than any exam now zika virus infection mother develop zika virus infection during pregnancy microcephaly lysencephaly cerebellar hypoplasia subcortical calcification and ocular retinal mottling and macular scarring lysencephaly means smooth brain normal brain is like this there are sulci and gari this is normal brain but lysencephaly is smooth brain no gari no sulci plain brain no ragis lysencephaly clear so torch group you should remember torch infection you should remember answer 
I hold for 30 seconds. Revise all those things which you have learned in previous two slides. Gka outbreak occur in Brazil. Very good. Rudimentary digit. Cerebellar hypoplasia. Scarred skin lesions. Yes, this is chicken pox embryopathy. Anyway, you need to remember the torch. Diffuse cerebral calcification. Toxo. Periventricular calcification. CMV. Basal ganglion calcification. HIV. Subcortical calcification. G covered. Anywhere, any question come on torch. Are you prepared? Yes. These are the must know MCQs. Must know MCQs. Answer this. You can answer. You can answer. A 10 year male presents with recurrent gross hematuria. Review of symptoms revealed poor vision due to cataract. Poor hearing due to sensorineural hearing loss. Mother, brother required renal transplant. Yes, it is Alport syndrome, which is a triad of hematuria, cataract, and deafness. With cataract, one more finding is there. Cataract plus anterior lenticonus. Alport is x length recessive as well as x length dominant. Both inheritance are there. In these inheritance, mother father may problem nahi hai. The problem in it, mother's brother require renal transplant, oblique transmission, oblique transmissions. Mother brother require acquired renal transplant. Yes, this is Alport syndrome. This is the classical history. This is the traditional four choices. This question comes revolving every 3-4 year in any exam. Alport syndrome. Two more things you should remember. Must know points. Must know topic. Hemolytic uremic syndrome. Hemolytic uremic syndrome. HUS. What is the triad of HUS? Microangiopathic hemolytic anemia, thrombocytopenia, ARF, and ARF. This is the triad of hemolytic uremic syndrome. You called it A T M. ATM. Hemolytic uremic syndrome. So classical history. Classical history. Attack always preceded by dysentery. First dysentery, then come ATM. Dysentery, then come ATM. Dysentery, then comes ATM. Child comes to anemia, thrombocytopenia, decrease urine output, urea elevated, create elevated. Hemolytic uremic syndrome. What is thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura? It is a pentad of. Pentad of. ATM plus fever and CNS involvement. Plus fever and CNS involvement. You may find a question about hemolytic uremic syndrome. All are the, all are the features except no CNS involvement. No fever is there in hemolytic uremic syndrome. In hemolytic uremic syndrome. Clear? So, HUS, TTP, you should remember. What is hemolytic uremic syndrome and what is thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura? ATM plus neuro plus fever is TTM. Answer this. Haha. <laughs> if you read this, a full term newborn baby having episodes of cyanosis which are worse when he attempting to feed 
cyanosis increase when attempting to feed cyanosis decrease when child is cramped cyanotic heart disease cyanosis increase when child is crying but here cyanosis decrease seems better when he is crying so it can't be b it can't be c cyanosis increase when you feed the child both nostril close when you feed from where baby take breath so cyanosis increase when you feed the child is classical of coinal atresia classical of coinal atresia when cyanosis when you feed the child then cyanosis increase it's coinal atresia cyanosis decrease when child is crying answer this question again evergreen question for fmg exam examiner put some one word some history base and this is the classical history based question four year old blue eye white female malar flush mental retardation subluxation of lens marfan or like feature so it's very tempting na it's a marfan marfan or like feature to marfan hi hoga mind it mind it feature like marfan but mental retardation is written in marfan iq is normal in marfan iq is normal so answer can't be marfan in this feature is marfanoid but iq mental tradition is there then it can't be marfan then it has to be homocysteinuria homocysteinuria means marfan like feature plus mental retardation homocysteinuria it is autosomal recessive disorder autosomal recessive disorder marfan like feature feature are marfan like subluxation of lens long fingers marfan like feature but in the beginning or end you find a word mental retardation then it is homocysteinuria prone for thromboembolic episode slash stroke t e e thromboembolic episode slash stroke in medicine you read the causes of stroke number 1 is homocysteinuria in surgery causes of deep vein thrombosis number 1 is homocysteinuria thromboembolic episode slash stroke and it's a pyridoxine b6 dependent condition remember homocysteinuria classical which syndrome iq is normal it's marfan syndrome which syndrome iq is normal it's marfan syndrome so my friend this type of question we frequently make lose in the exam marfanoid like feature tempting to put answer marfan but mental retardation is there so it can't be marfan it is homocysteinuria answer think read the choices give your answer not a criteria for severe acute malnutrition not a criteria for severe acute malnutrition weight for height yes msc yes edema yes it is weight for age is not a criteria for severe malnutrition severe acute malnutrition suppose why it's not there so graph is there suppose birth weight is just 1.5 kg but at 3 month weight is 3.5 kg more than double but when you put in the graph as compared to weight and age 3 month 
3.5 always comes at malnutrition. But actually, it's not malnutrition. Child growing very well. Weight is more than double in three months. That's why age for weight for age is not included in the severe acute malnutrition definition. Severe acute malnutrition among children between 6 to 59 months of age described by WHO or UNICEF any of the following criteria. Weight for height, edema, midam circumference, not weight for age, not weight for age, not weight for age. Am I clear? Am I clear? Severe acute malnutrition. Answer this. Most common heart defect in William syndrome. Most common heart defect in William syndrome. So common syndrome and their common defect you should know. Common syndrome and their common defect you should know. Down syndrome. Endocardial cushion defect. It is the endocardial cushion defect. Most common heart defect in a patient of Down syndrome. Endocardial cushion defect. Turner syndrome. Turner syndrome. Coactation of iota and bicuspid aortic wall. Coactation of iota and bicuspid aortic wall. In a symptomatic patient, coactation, asymptomatic, bicuspid aortic wall. If anybody asks you which is the commonest start defect in Turner syndrome, always go for coactation of iota. Coactation of iota. Then comes Noonan syndrome. Most common heart defect in Noonan syndrome, pulmonary stenosis. Pulmonary stenosis. William syndrome. Supravalvar aortic stenosis. Stenosis not at aortic wall. Above that. Above that. Sinal tubular junction and ascending aorta. Wall is normal. But above wall is narrowing. Supravalvar aortic stenosis. And Marfan syndrome. Mitral wall prolapse. So you should remember these very well. These two. Lot of MCQs are there. Noonan syndrome. Pulmonary stenosis. William syndrome. Supravalvar aortic stenosis. You should remember. These two syndrome where these two defects you should know. So most common heart defect in a patient of William syndrome is supravalvar aortic stenosis. Okay. One more thing about Williams. Elfin like face one creature in sex Shakespeare novels elfin like faces and it has hyper calcemia calcium is more and they are cocktail type personality cocktail mix mix they mix up with Everybody so well. When a patient of Williams syndrome enter into OPD, he has no fright from you. Just touch you, take your stethoscope, put on your keypads. Very familiar, very familiar. So cocktail type personality, elfin feces, hypercalcemia and supravalvar aortic stenosis, Williams syndrome. Now, Noonan syndrome. All features, features, mm -hmm. sorry, 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 sorry. Feature like Turner syndrome, but Karyotype normal. Karyotype normal. 
नॉर्मली वॉट हैपन इंटरनर वॉट हैपन इंटरनर कैरियो टाइप इज फोर्टी फाइव एक्स जीरो यू सी ए बॉय और यू सी ए गर्ल फीचर इज लाइक टर्नल बट कैरियो टाइप इज नॉर्मल सो डेट इज नून सिंड्रोम दीज आर द कॉमन सिंड्रोम क्वेश्चन कम्स अबाउट देयर हार्ट डिफेक्ट देयर फीचर्स वी कांट स्केप फ्रॉम दिस यस न्यून सिंड्रोम द कॉमनेस्ट हार्ट डिफेक्ट इज पलमोनरी स्टिनोसिस William syndrome, commonest heart defect is supravalvar aortic stenosis. Am I clear? Clear. Hemoglobin A two increase in. Tell me. Hemoglobin A two. Normally, in a more than one year, what is the normal? Hemoglobin percent. Hemoglobin A more than ninety eight percent. Hemoglobin A two one to two percent. Rest all hemoglobin are in traces. If hemoglobin A two is more than three point five gram percent, individual labeled as thalassemic carrier. Thalassemic carrier. So you should know hemoglobin A two increase in and Peters hemoglobin F increase in universal five six causes of hemoglobin F increase. Number one thalassemia major. Number two juvenile CML. Number three trisomy thirteen. Number four treatment with erythropoietin and number five diamond black fan syndrome. Never forget. Thalassemia major, juvenile CML, trisomy 13, diamond black fan syndrome, pure red cell aplasia, and treatment with erythropoietin and hydroxyurea. Remember, these are the must know point. Hemoglobin F, hemoglobin A2. One more. Bart hemoglobin increase in. Bart hemoglobin increase in alpha thalassemia. When this question comes in the exam, na you remember me. Answer this. Answer this. A six-year-old boy has a purpuric and petechial rash over buttocks and lower extremity. Rash is there. Appear well, a febrile. swelling on the right knee means with rash also have arthritis cbc normal this is the key cbc normal complete blood count is normal examiner wants to say platelets count normal so what is this this is hinock esconlin purpura hinock esconlin purpura HSP HSP Hinock Esconlin purpura. Now see, there are four feature of HSP. Number one, rash, which is present in hundred percent of the patient. You can't make the diagnosis of HSP without the rash. This is the rash of HSP below buttocks. Then come arthritis. Present in eighty percent of the patient. Then come abdominal pain. Present in seventy percent of the patient, and then come glomerulonephritis in fifty percent of the patient. In our question, rash is there, arthritis is there, and the most important MCQ: platelets count. It's a purpura, HSP, HSP. It's a purpura, but platelet count. My friend, Alport syndrome, Hinock Collin purpura, hemolytic rheumatic syndrome, thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura. Questions are there. These are the must know topics, must know MCQs. HUS tried ATM. TTP, Pentard, ATM plus fever and CNS involvement, Alport syndrome, 
ट्रायड वॉस्ट्रायड हिमेचूरिया कैटरेक्ट एंटीरलेंटिकोनस एंड डेफनेस एच एस पी फोर पॉइंट रैश आर्थराइटिस एबडोमिनल पेन ग्लोमरोनेफ्राइटिस आर्थराइट रैश इज ऑलवेज देयर यू मे फाइंड आर्थराइटिस मे फाइंड एबडोमिनल पेन मे बी ग्लोमरोनेफ्राइटिस इन सम पेशेंट बट या रैश इज ऑलवेज देयर यू कांट मेक द डायग्नोसिस ऑफ एच एस पी विदाउट द रैश एंड यूवर्सल यूनिवर्सल फाइंडिंग प्लेटलेट काउंट्स नॉर्मल प्लेटलेट काउंट्स नॉर्मल सो वी ट्राई टू कवर सम मस्ट नो एम सी क्यूज मार्कर ऑफ डाउन सिंड्रोम हीमोग्लोबिन एफ ए टू बाट हीमोग्लोबिन देन रिस्पॉन्स टू आयरन थेरेपी इन आयरन डेफिशियंसी एनीमिया एंटीनेटर स्क्रीनिंग ऑफ डाउन सिंड्रोम टॉट ग्रुप ऑफ इन्फेक्शन रीनल कंडीशन एल्पोर्ट हीमोलिटिक यूरेमिक टी टी पी इनऑक्सकोलिन पर प्यूरा दीज ऑल आर ट्रस्ट मी मस्ट नो एम सी क्यू मस्ट नो डेंटल एज वेन द फर्स्ट टीथ इराप्ट वेन द ऑल प्राइमरी टीथ इराप्ट these all questions are there in previous exams maybe must know mcq for upcoming exam and somebody ask me what is your way this is the way tasex homocysteine urea these are definitely must know mcqs so i tried my level best to give you some of the best must know mcq for fmg we will continue this session more i will take more classes must know mcqs during your end time by the response i come to know that you know most of the things just to revise them just to revise them so keep reading let's crack it if you like this class share with your colleagues your junior your seniors hope to see you all in upcoming sessions must know mcq for fmg till then bye bye Thank you God bless you all God bless you all God bless you all